I was born on the East Coast. I was part of the RX Nation. Ritalin, Buspar, Nortriptyline. I was one of those guinea pig kids. You know, I was on everything and I was so screwed up. They didn't know what was wrong with me because I was hyper and I had learning disabilities, so they called it ADHD. I came from an okay family, but something was wrong and I felt very much like the unloved person in my family and at a very young age I hit the street. I became addicted to heroin very quickly and uh, ended up getting a lot of trouble in and out of um, institutions and uh, relapse after relapse after relapse, um, my friends dying around me, overdosing. I very much feel this program has given me enough backbone to keep going and shown me a light at the end of that tunnel at this point in my life. If I did not have this right now, I would not be alive. I just saw my older brother for the first time in about 11 years because he was scared to death of me because he has a family and I was a junkie. I embarrassed them very much and I'm still trying to live that down now. You know. I have a 10 year old son. He's in Massachusetts with his mother. He's beautiful. He's 10 years old. He loves camping and dirt bikes and motorcycles just like I do. I have not seen him in person in seven years. I wasn't a, the best dad because I didn't know how to be. If I could turn back time, I would. What do I want for my life? I, I want to feel self-worth. Uh, you know, I want to, I don't want to have to ever worry again about being on the street. And I don't ever want to freeze again or go hungry. I don't want to have to steal. I don't want to have to sell drugs. I don't want to have people 20 years from now being like, oh, that's ha Danny Hazard on hate. He's a junkie because I'm not anymore.